Large breasts can feminize someone and it can even make you more desirable. But it can cause difficulties occasionally. Big busted women are often faced with dilemmas such as unintended showing of bosom and such. Thankfully, I have these tips for huge busted ladies so you can dress your girls up better. Everybody is different. Some big breasted women can have smaller waist or some bigger. Either way, today's dressing tips will help. Welcome to Blush With Me. The struggle is real. When it comes to dressing a fuller bust, you like button up top only to find that it gapes at the bust throughout the day. The disappointment of finding something that fits your bust only to find that it is three times bigger everywhere else. I understand, which is why the idea of today's episode is to show that we can solve everyday problem for every woman. Stick around till the end. So in my last episode, we did talk about wearing wrong bras for big busted women. And the reason you should not be wearing something like what Abby is wearing now is it creates a unibo. And one of the biggest problems I think women have faced with big breasts is unibo bras and unibo look. Sometimes it's not even the bra, just the kind of clothes you wear create that illusion. And high neck lines, halter neck styles can be pretty unflattering. They can make large breasts look much bigger than they already are and it's often harder to wear a suitable supportive bra underneath. As you can see, this top is giving a uniboob effect too, just like the previous one. And also, these tops don't make the breast look as perky as they should be. They're definitely not looking where they should be. So also, if you have ruffles <laughs> on the sides, which look like wings that you don't need, <laughs> they also add more width and kind of make your breast look wider. So avoid anything with ruffles, frills or bell sleeves. Those kind of tops are only going to make you look wider. Just because she wants to fit her bust into this top, just like most others, she landed up buying a top which is way too big for her everywhere else. So that's yet another mistake. Absolutely a no -no. Like This is a perfect definition of what not to buy. So avoid anything that is boxy, frilly, lacy, uncomfortable, and gives you wings. <laughs> Drink Red Bull for that. <laughs> this is a perfect example of a good dress to be worn by women with big busts. Now what is good about it? Firstly, you can see the darts which are shaping the breasts. Two, it has empire waist so it's slimming her waist and as the dress flows down it again creates a beautiful shape instead of a boxy dress which would have actually given her no shape at all and would have completely hidden the beautiful breast that she actually has. Another thing I like about this top is that the bell sleeves don't start opening up right from the shoulders. They actually open just from her waist. So they still create a nice slimming effect till her waistline and then add to the flow of the dress. So this is a beautiful dress from Ann Taylor and I think it does complete justice to your beautiful body. You look amazing in this. Oh, thank you. Another thing you'll notice is that Abby's wearing a spandex. Now that really clenches her waist in and creates a perfect shape here. And she's wearing her good bra this time. So the shape is so much better. They're not bouncing. This bra has memory foam straps. So they're not biting into her skin. So comfortable. And they're broad, thick straps. So as you can see, Abby is wearing a spaghetti top here. Avoid wearing anything with very thin straps because that creates an imbalance. When you're wearing something very thin, of course, it will show your big, thick bra straps. And instead, go for something that's much thicker on your straps so that it looks more balanced all over. Absolutely nothing shiny, satin, velvet, and definitely no oversized tops like the one she's wearing right now. Now this top is a perfect example of how a top can make you look bulky, boxy and shapeless. But look what I do. I like the pattern of this top that I got from Ann Taylor. The material is really nice. I like the fact that it has those um, pleats but it does not stretch and doesn't make the breast look bigger which is beautiful. You never get to see that in most of the tops. But also just tightening it on the side clinches it exactly where 
her waist needs to be held to make her bust line look better. It's not really a peplum top, but it definitely creates the illusion of one. Another reason I really like this top is because of the neckline. The straps are perfect. They are not very thin. They are nice and broad. Again, helps balance out your bust line. And I like the neckline too. Very pretty. Now coming down to wrap dresses. They have firmly entrenched themselves as one of the must-haves in most of the wardrobes. Especially for bigger busted women, I think this is a must-have. Your wrap dress will clearly define and separate your breasts. So it definitely makes the breasts look a lot more appealing than the previously seen uni boob tops. <laughs> also notice, Abby is wearing Spanx here, which is narrowing her waistline and it's making her bust line appear more feminine. Like this dress, opt for three quarter sleeves as these generally are more slimming than shorter or full sleeve styles. So yet another fashion tip for women with bigger bust is to steer clear of double breasted or bomber jackets. Instead, opt for tops or layers or jackets that are more streamlined, that are more nipped on the waist. So it creates better shape right here and makes your waist look slimmer. Surprise! Yet another big mistake is to wear big prints, halt neck, and clearly I'm missing out on the most obvious, is to have something that reveals your big breast too much. They're there, they're already seen, people are noticing it. <laughs> you don't have to do this to show off. <laughs> Unless that's what your purpose is, but the whole purpose of today's video is to how to showcase your tatas much better instead of putting them out on display. So this is like everything you should not be doing. <laughs> Loose or baggy style of clothing can swamp your figure and make you appear larger than you are. This is doubly troubling for those with larger breasts. If you've got larger bust, stick to single breasted rather than double breasted jackets. Double breasted jackets add bulk to your bust where single breasted styles can have a slimming effect on your body. With this beautiful sweater, Abby is wearing a pencil skirt. Now this is not one of those really fitted narrow pencil skirts uh, that create an illusion of a triangle. Now imagine if you have big bust and you're wearing something so slimming and fitting at the bottom. It's not going to look very proportionate. So you could wear something that's either flaring out or even something like this which is more appropriate for work which is not very fitted but it's more straighter at the bottom. It's perfect. It's, it's giving her really nice shape to her body and Yet again, a beautiful look from Ann Taylor. She's wearing a long chain. Now, long chains have a tendency to sit very awkwardly on large busts. So now Abby is wearing a shorter collar necklace, which looks a lot more flattering than the long one she was trying on before. I've seen this mistake many a times, and that is to wear a crossbody bag right in the middle. You don't even have to have big busts. I think it just looks very awkward on any size. So instead, first of all, avoid carrying something very small. Don't carry small bags. Carry relatively larger bags so that it again balances out your size. And the other way, if you have to carry a bag like this is just carry it on your shoulder. So you don't really have to have a crossbody bag. All you have to do is just get a fanny pack and hang it onto your belt loops. So these were my life-saving style hacks for women with big bust line. I hope you enjoyed the variety of looks you could create for any occasion, from professional to casual looks with these beautiful outfits from Ann Taylor. Lots of entertaining and informating posts are waiting for you on my social media platforms. On Instagram, I have two accounts. One is blushwithme underscore parmita and the second one is parmita katkar underscore photo factory. I also have a Facebook fan page. It's called Blush with me, Parmita Photography. <laughs> Do share your positive comments, video topic suggestions, and your favorite look from today's video in my comment section. I look forward to my comment box every day. So keep writing, share the video with your friends who will find it helpful. Subscribe because that's the best way to make sure you see me every week. I will see you next week, which is not too far. Until then, binge watch Blush with me. Bye for now. Can't see the zipper. <laughs> Are you kidding? Or is that like a real That is a problem? real problem. <laughs> it's a lot of guesswork happening. Anything below right here.